Hey besties, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well, you know, taking care. And thank you for 100 plus subscribers. Today, we are gonna create random beaded bracelets with these beads. So don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video with a friend. So I'm just gonna take 5 random scoops from this bead bag. And from the beads that come out of this scoop, I will create a bracelet. I will try to create a pretty bracelet, a random bracelet, and I don't know, whatever I can. Because these beads are just low stock beads that I have combined. So I'm just gonna use them for that. Now that I have my scoop, I will be showing you up close the beads that we got and I will start crafting the design on my beadboard. Side note, this is a necklace beadboard but it can be used for relatively anything. They also have bracelet beadboards but I don't have one yet because the bracelet beadboard has the measurement for different size bracelets so I'll probably be getting one soon. So this is the design I went for with the beads that I got from this random little scoop the other beads i'll just put them back in the bag and you know mix it all together to create more bracelets now this is just a simple part of taking all the beads and you know just putting them in your stretch cord that's easy peasy and i will be showing you the result right after this tres dos uno voila this is what we got it's ugly i hate it i mean i love it no i'm kidding i don't like it i don't like it. it's pretty random but i don't know if you want it, comment down below, I will send it to you. Now with this second bracelet, I had much more luck at creating a much beautiful chef kiss design. And you know, it's the same process as the other. I get the scoop and then I select the beads and create the pattern for the bracelet. I really like the yellow one, so I chose to do a little bit of a yellow and clear bead design, but you know, you can do whatever you want if you want to recreate this little fun thing just using low stock beads which is what i have done to be honest with this one i was feeling more of the vibes because i don't know it's just prettier and more amazing so i don't know i really like this one the only thing i don't like about plastic beads is that when they're like this one they have like a diamondy shape they tend to be a little bit scratchy on the skin but you know this is just for a video unless you want to wear this bracelet let me know in the comments well, I think it's the shade of yellow that made it look prettier and now I'm gonna make another one. I'm just, I was just gonna make three for this video, so you know, just the same process and see what we get. I'm just gonna quickly say, please excuse my laggy clips. I don't know what happened when I was in the video editor. I don't know, they just started skipping frames, so please excuse me if you don't think it's your device, it's the video. Well, once again, I really like using my beadboard to create the designs. I don't know, just the beadboards help you visualize your design before, you know, threading it on, you know, your cord. Just because I like to see and create the design in a detailed way. Just, I can see like, hmm, maybe this bead looks better here or here, you know, just the placement overall. And also people use it to thread a needle through it, make it much faster. But I don't know how to do that. We're not there yet. I gotta say, I think out of all three, this one was actually one of my favorites. As you can see, we're just doing it all over again. Anyhow, this is not the end of the video yet, but if you want to subscribe for more content like this, like weird content or just my weird commentary overall, don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to share it with a friend. And voila, here we have it. It's so pretty, to be honest. Also, let me know which one of the three was your favorite and yes this is the actual end of the video so i will see you all next week with an informative video bye